Hi Sequels friends! So I went ahead and I did it again. I got another Thread Up box and this time I went for the DIY t-shirt box. I'm looking for some t-shirts that hopefully I can sell and then I'm also looking to get some just on the cheap so that hopefully I can do a tie-dye project with them. So if you want to see what I got in my most recent DIY Thread Up t-shirt box, just keep on watching. Hi Sequels friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Heather and I am a part-time reseller on both Poshmark and eBay and I use this YouTube channel to document that journey. So if you're interested in any kind of reselling content, thrifting content, then you will definitely want to go ahead, ring my bell, and subscribe to my channel. Of course, if you found this DIY thread up unboxing useful, please do give me a thumbs up as your thumbs up. Let me know what kind of content to create in the future. So what I wanted to share with you guys today is what came in my most recent DIY Thread Up t-shirt box. All sorts of fun goodies arrived in it. As I said in the intro, I'm hoping to just get a bunch of t-shirts on the cheap. I want to do a tie-dyeing project that I've never done before, so I don't want to spend a lot of money on t-shirts. So while my main goal is to get t-shirts on the cheap to tie-dye, I'm also hoping that I'll get a few things in here that'll be worth just going ahead, quickly photographing and listing on both Poshmark and eBay. So let me give you the nitty gritty as I always do before we get into all that t-shirt goodness. So I purchased this DIY thread up box and they do say that, that you are supposed to get 25 t-shirts. And the total cost of the box for me, including shipping and everything, came to $33.99. I ordered it on 9-8 and it did not arrive to me until 9-18. However, that is not ThreadUp's fault, that is FedEx. For a few of you guys who have asked, I do want to let you know that this particular box was shipped from Duluth, Georgia, as some of you guys have mentioned to me that you think that sometimes the caliber of goods you get may be different depending on the warehouse. So I do want to let you guys all know that this one came from Duluth, Georgia. Now, rather than doing what I normally do, I think I'm gonna take you through similar to how I did with my DIY jean box. I have everything already cleaned, everything laid out on the rolling rack, and I've divided it between items. I'm gonna go ahead and just shoot, do a real quick photo shoot and get them online, and then I have separated out as well all of the items that I'm hoping to practice my tie-dye with. So we're gonna do a little flip a and I'm gonna walk you through what I got. So I did try to divide everything up. All of the guys over here on the on the wood hangers are things that I am hoping to go ahead and list online. While all of the items over here on the cheapy plastic white hangers will most likely will most likely all be used for tie-dye. So let me give you an idea of what we got that we're liking and wanting to list. Eddie Bauer. Just a white, plain, everyday, long sleeve t-shirt. No stains, no tears on a white t-shirt. I am impressed. This one, South Pole. Again, white, no stains. This one doesn't have a brand name on it and I wasn't able to find it anywhere online, but I think it would sell really well. It's just a cute little cactus print. This one's J. Crew in the classic um, boat neck stripe. This is Nation, but it's for John. Um, I can't remember what the name was, but I'm sure you guys already know. It's a very see through y, and it does have this spliced neck, which I'm not sure if it came like that or somebody did it. And it does have a couple of little snags. This is a Maui Hawaii men's shirt. Just had decent comps, so I'm just gonna go ahead and list it. This next one up, this Danskin top. This is one that's in the nine to 14 range. 
I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna get a decent price for it. This is my wild card of just listing rather than tie dyeing to see if it works. And here is another one. It's just Ann Taylor Loft, so it's going for the nine to 14 range, basic red. And this one is extremely interesting. This is a Forever Bama, um, Forever Legend uh, shirt, Kobe Bryant. And um, most of them are, um, are in the um, 25 range. Some of them are up to 60, and somebody on eBay has it for 500, which just seems ridiculous. I'm probably gonna go just for 25 and be realistic about it. So that gives you an idea of what was good enough that I felt I should just go ahead and list it to sell and not worry about tie dyeing. These are all tie dyes because the price would most likely yield $9 or less, so not worth it to put online. Just a Morona Target. No idea how this is gonna tie dye. Like I said, this is true experimentation for me. Um, white stag tank top with lace, an old navy camo, Levi's. This one I was hoping was actually worth something, but it's not. It's a Levi's New York Jets NFL collab. Yeah, you can see right in here the NFL tag. Um, I just love the retro vibes and I actually think it's gonna be really cool tie dyed. I may even do a bleach dye with it, I haven't decided. This is just Kato and it has cute little ruffly sleeves. Um, short sleeve Superman tee, men's. More Old Navy. Time and True. It's Walmart, right? Pretty sure that's Walmart. Dip. Have no idea what this brand is. Was, was not having a lot of luck finding it online. If anybody knows, please comment below and let me know who sells Dip. <laughs> this is Gap. It's a really nice, thick, quality t-shirt, but again, the retails aren't there, so we'll be experimenting. More Old Navy, but this one's in orange. Love, love this, but it doesn't collect any money either, so I think this could be super cool tie-dyed. Ice dyed? I don't know, we'll see. Another Old Navy Gone Fish and Men's Tea. This is actually a, um, it's Bella, so it was made online, and it's a Fit Atlanta. I have no idea that this is gonna do anything. It may even should just be donated because it's from a specific gym, but I thought that the front screen print was cool, so I'm gonna experiment with it. And then here's a big black shirt that I'm keeping. Just Old Navy, nothing fancy. So now that you've seen the rainbow of goods that uh, we got in this DIY thread up box, why not let's flip it around and let's talk some numbers. So there were definitely some pretty interesting things in that box, huh? So let's go ahead and talk numbers. Now, there were nine items that I showed you that were all on the wooden hangers, which were the nine items that I am planning on doing a quick photo shoot on and listing them online. And by quick photo shoot, I mean I leave them on that hanger, I take a picture of the front, I take a picture of the back, I may take a third picture that does an up close of the screen, silk screen, if there is one, and then I'll also take a couple of photos of the, of the tags. So it's a really simple, simple, quick, quick photo shoot process. No mannequins, just hanging on a hanger. Now, I expect for all of these items that I'm going to list that I will get uh, anywhere between nine to $24 per item. And again, the ones that I'm listing with a low of nine, it's only two out of the nine items, just because I'm not quite sure what I can get with those. So anywhere from nine to $24 on those nine pieces. 
That means in total, I could sell these nine items for anywhere from $121 to $176. Now, if that worked out, that would be fabulous considering I only paid $33.99 for this box. However, do be reminded, these numbers that I'm telling you are what I anticipate them to sell for high to low range on the platform. That does not mean that that's what my actual money in my pocket is. I still need to remove platform fees as well as cost of goods. So always keep that in mind when I'm quoting you these prices for these unboxings. So there are 15 items that I have in my experimental tie-dye pile. I have no idea what I could sell these tie-dye items for. I have never tie-dyed items purposely to sell in my Poshmark or eBay store. So I do not know what the going price is going to be. I did look at comps for other people who look like they're thrifting t-shirts and tie-dyeing them. And I think that I could probably get anywhere from 12 to $19 for each of these shirts. Now, if I ended up selling through all 15 of them and I was able to achieve that, not, that 12 to $19 price range, then I have the potential to make $180 to $285 on the remaining 15 shirts. Now again, this is much more of a big if than anything I've done before because I've never tried this category before and I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, you may notice that those numbers only add up to 24 and that is because there was one black shirt in here, low price point, not gonna make me any money that was in my tie-dye pile that I went ahead and grabbed for myself as it makes perfect workout shirt. So I kept that one for me. Now, let's talk cost of goods. I did take that one shirt out, so I only had 24 shirts. My box cost a total of $33.99 when you include everything in it with shipping. So if you divide that out by a 24, you get an average sale price here of $1.42 loving it. Again, none of these shirts are in really bad condition. I think maybe four, three or four of them have definite pilling on them. Um, but other than that, there aren't a lot of stains, there aren't a lot of rips, there aren't a lot of tears. So everything is in great condition for that $1.42 price. I'm pretty darn happy about that. So what you really want to know is total between both categories. If we sell through all of the items that we just listed and we find that we sell through all of the tie-dye items, what is the total um, in revenue that we can produce? So that would come between $348 and $461. So you mean to tell me off of $33.99, you have the potential to make $348 to $461? You've gotta just bite the bullet, spend the $34 and give it a try and that's where I'm at. So of course, when I get to tie-dyeing all these things, I will definitely do a video. I'm going to show you some of my different processes a suit, whether they work or not, I have no idea because like I said, this is all entirely new to me. I've done a few shibori and tie-dye projects, but nothing like the things I'm trying to accomplish here. So I will definitely take you along for that ride. So if you don't already subscribe, you'll definitely want to ring that bell so that you will be notified next time I upload that video. And of course, if this was helpful to you in any way, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you got in your DIY t-shirt box. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you get something that you're like, holy guacamole, this t-shirt alone would make up my whole price of the box and it was well worth it. Or did you get a bunch of grime and gunk and it just wasn't worth your price and you're like, screw this thread up DIY BS, I'll just go to the bins. Either way, I would love to hear from you. We don't have to agree to share your opinion, so feel free to let me know what works for you in the comments below. So thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate each and every one of you. All of your subscriptions and comments mean the world to me. Have a great rest of the week, and you know I will be back again on Friday with a new video. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.